it does resonate with people very strongly because when you do spread a bit of truth somewhere where there's lots of lies being told, it makes people stop and think. Let's hear and George Orwell said... Well, the anarchist history is basically that the royal family are still the head of the British Parliament. We live in a constitutional monarchy. And you may think that the Queen has no power. And the establishment and the state, which have been shown to be illegal and violent. And he wrote this like, whole thing about, I don't care what Charlie Veach says, we need to move on. And then he wrote this phrase, which is very interesting. Mm -hmm. He goes, Charlie Veach will very deeply regret what he's doing in the near future. That almost sounds like a threat. Right. Well, that's okay. It's um, I, I'm allowed to film you. Right. Well, yeah, you actually, I'm just saying. Uh, How can I help you? Why have you turned up and stood one foot away from me? What's up? I'm How can I help you? I'm just speak to you about what you're doing today. You're I, but I don't wish to speak right. to you. I've got nothing to say to you. You're an officer of the police. I've got nothing to say to you. Right. Okay. Absolutely nothing. Right, this conversation. Right. Actually, in fact, do you have something to say to me? Uh, well, I can say if you'd let me talk. I'd, I'd say okay. yeah. Uh, I've come here today because of the protest and the fact that you're filming so close to a cash in transit. Who's um, who's protesting? Uh, you are. With are you are you defining what I'm doing? Are you legally defining? what I'm actually doing here. To us. Well, that's what's been reported to you, but yeah. someone could report that I'm a 12 tentacled green-eyed monster. And that's why Does it make it the truth? And that's why Does it make it the truth? Yeah. No. Why do haters hate? I think people love to love and they also love to hate. They see that there's a problem with governments and banks and society but they might think, oh, that's too big and powerful for me to even get my head around. But here's this guy who's maybe a bit loud, a bit obnoxious, a bit funny, and he's trying to do something. I'll hate him instead because he shows me up for what I'm not. That Charlie Veach, he's out there doing it. He's confident. He speaks to the police. He gets arrested. He fights people. He, he's got millions of views. He's doing what he feels is right, and that's offensive to me because I'm not. Let's throw sausage roll in. Let's throw sausage roll at the guy speaking. How miserable are their lives that they're trying to hurt a guy who, at the end of the day, what do I do? I have no political power. I've got, I just go out with a megaphone or go out filming. This is a message from the architect of the Matrix. You have all been very obedient, and thank you for carrying on doing just your hate. Excuse me, gentlemen, you said I am breaking the law. Could you please tell me what law I am breaking? By using a megaphone to speak freely in a free country. Make your way quickly into Harrods, where you two can find true happiness. Happiness only costs a thousand pounds, and it has a Giorgio Armani brand on it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a personal message from all the shareholders of British Petroleum, Royal Dutch Shell, and Halliburton. So what do you talk about in these YouTube videos? Well, some of them are like out filming me, megaphoning and kind of interacting with off a supposed authority. Other ones are just me like face to camera talking about my personal views about things. So my videos are philosophical. They're about, about timeless ideas that will age, you know, freedom, what it means to be human, what I believe the human soul is. Things, those are things I talk about. Do you know how many, how many videos you have uploaded onto YouTube? 502. Um, I'm half Brazilian, half Scottish. I was born in Rio in Brazil um, to a sailor father and a lawyer mother. I had a very happy childhood. I didn't lack for anything. You know, my parents are very safely middle class. Uh, went to a good school. Parents never beat me. They didn't divorce. They were together. So, no complaints. Background, I guess, more is I went to university in 1998. Um, I was originally going to do a business and finance degree, but then I, um, I realized that I'm quite interested in philosophy and psychology, so I did a philosophy degree at Edinburgh Uni. Being just like every other young man in the world at the age of 22, not having a clue what I wanted to do in my life with a philosophy degree, I fell back into finance, which is ironic because at the age of 17, I was like, I'm not going to do finance. But then there's all that pressure at 22. You're like, you don't know very much about, you know, stuff. Like I'm talking about compared to me nowadays, I'm 32. So this is going back 10 years. 
couldn't hack it. Managed seven years in the finance world, and then when I got made redundant because of the financial crash of 2009, um, I thought, man, Charlie, you've always wanted to do something with philosophy or acting or filming. Why don't you like film your activism? So I did. And then the love police was born. Does it make it the truth? Does it make it the truth? No. I'm just one man speaking freely in open air. So do you have a problem with that? No, I don't. Okay, so why, why have you come here? You're a man dressed in a black paramilitary uniform, and your job is to stand up for those guys. You guys should arrest the bankers. You guys should arrest the people that kill all those brown people in Arab countries. But no, you work for the organizations. You work for the big companies. I've had death threats. I've had to report a death threat to the police. Um, someone um, got so offended at my asking for donations that they um, set up a fake me on Facebook and they um, started trying to channel donations to their own bank account and this was the same guy that sent me like I'm gonna kill you I'm gonna slit your throat that I had to go to the police he set up a YouTube channel called kill Charlie Beach and then he wrote to me saying I'm gonna kill you I know where you live and slit your throat Part of me was like, yeah, whatever, you fucking 15-year-old idiot in your parents' basement. But on the other side, you got to take it slightly seriously, you know, because... Can you imagine, you know, if the worst happened and you just ignored the signs, but... I am a very proud father to a five-month-old baby. Um, I'm a stepfather to a four-year-old boy with my partner's previous um, relationship she's got a son from. So I have two kids in the house. I have a partner who I love very dearly. So yeah, it's very adult. It's very grown up. It's um, at times very stressful. Um, but it's balancing between you know my own personal insanity and wanting to do love police stuff and uh, my responsibilities as a parent. But there is crossover because if you love yourself and you love your kids, then you want to fight for freedom you, you are a bad symbol being here yeah. a bad symbol you're, i don't need your facilitation i don't need to be governed i'm a free human being right okay. you don't need to be here i have nothing to do with you or to say to you okay. and look there's people murdering and robbing right now i in the banks the government and you're standing here right next to one guy with a megaphone yeah, yeah. how does that make i understand that most people for whatever reason aren't interested in them um, political, um, philosophical, anarchist, spiritual ideologies because it's either way above their heads or they think it's crazy or it's not, it doesn't tie in with their Beyonce, Rihanna, Justin Bieber everyday existence. They become part of the background and they just get pushed around and told what to do. So my message to people is like spend a bit of time working on yourself Spend a bit of time realizing what it actually means on a spiritual, even from a philosophical level. Like you don't need to, because the word spirituality scares people. So on a philosophical level, what does freedom mean? What does being human mean? What does being sentient mean? What does being conscious mean? What does being the most impressive animal in the known universe? What does that mean to you? What does it mean that you allow other people who are as imperfect as you to create your laws, your how much you pay, where you work, how many hours you work? Most people aren't ready yet to have a, a, a message of spiritual freedom. Most people want churches, they want politicians, they want to be told what to do by a, a parental figure. They want the police to tell them what to do, so freedom is scary and people aren't. Not, well, a lot of people are, but most people aren't ready for it. Look at you all. 95% of you walking past can't even understand my message because you've been too well programmed. You think, no, it can't happen to me. You can't change people's minds. You can only put the conditions in place where they change their own minds. And that's what I've learned. You can inspire people, you can move people, you can traumatize people. But in terms of changing their whole fucking mathematics of the way they see the world, only they can do it. Right, I'm going to ask you a serious question now. Uh-oh. Yes. Are you... No. I'm... Are you happy, Charlie? Yes and no. I think I'm 50-50. I have exact same misery and depression as I do happiness and everything. And they balance. It's terrifying because, you know, the Buddhists talk about, you know, meditation and keeping everything like, mm, like gentle and understand. Whereas my life is like this. You know?
show that there's no bad feelings, could you please film me no, giving the policeman a hug? No, no, no. Woo! <laughs> Come on, give him a big hug. Right, Woo! All right. Thanks, man. Cheers. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's broken now. What's your name, bro? Charlie. Charlie, man. Thanks, man.